time. Classes are canceled today at Claremont High School. Police say a teenage boy broke in and tried to set that school on fire. That's right, they broke in and tried to set it on fire, as you just mentioned. 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino live at the school now with the dramatic video of the boy being arrested. Ashley. A much quieter scene here at Claremont High School. Still staff, though, that is here. There's about a dozen students that are still left inside. They're guiding parents to where they can go and pick up their students. There's also still police investigators that are walking around campus right now, continuing their investigation, but they are not releasing any information about the boy they have in custody. <coughs> An intense arrest of a teenager outside of Claremont High School. Down. Get your head down. Officers were called to the school after an alarm was triggered. They found a teen with bolt cutters and a knife. They put him into the back of a squad car as K-9 units searched every inch of the campus. Firefighters were called after a classroom was discovered on fire. The science lab had been set ablaze by the teen. But there is a large area that the student had broken windows and um, got into multiple buildings. A heavy presence of police and firefighters greeted students as they showed up for class. Just kind of scared as to like what happened or who was involved. We've gone through a lot of situations, but um, you do worry about your student's safety, um, but I'm sure we have to trust our um, educators you know, on what they're going to assess with our students. I just was wondering if school was closed or not. Please don't worry. Um, everything's okay. The school district originally didn't cancel class, but just as the first bell was supposed to ring, they began notifying everyone that campus would be shut down for the day. Students were sent to the football field, and that's where parents lined up to pick up their kids. And again, the investigation continues. Police tell me that teenage boy could be facing charges of burglary and arson. We're live in Claremont. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News.